Simon, a good friend of mine, on his way in his little, lovely little micro camper van. Lovely van, I did a review on that, as I said before. So uh, thanks, Simon. It's always great to have a spare pair of hands and uh, we got the job done quite quickly, even though it was uh, a bit miserable out there. I didn't bother filming. So a lovely job, Lee. Uh, I will get, uh, I'm going to go up to that motor factors. Just turn the camera. I'm going to run back up to that motor factors before I leave Strand Rail and get a full set of So we're charging up, everything's dandy again in Christine and we're ready to rock and roll. Uh, I'm just going to have some quick breakfast here, guys. Right. Let's crack on with this day. I think the rain's coming back again. It was, I couldn't film because it was blustery, it was windy, it was awkward to get in there and put the camera down. It was starting to rain as well, so I didn't bother filming the fit. But it was pretty easy, guys. Right, look at all those birds. Hi, mate. Uh, we're on South um, Rhine now, guys, uh, heading towards the uh, one of the most southerly parts of Scotland. This is as far as you can go in Scotland, south. Uh, it's a bit further down the coast here on the uh, South Rhine, but we're coming into Port Logan. Uh, nice little church there, by the look of it. Lovely little bay. Oh, look at this, guys. Wow. Keeping my eyes out for a park up. Lovely bay. Uh, I don't know where this park up is, but uh, we'll have a look. Right, uh, it's, uh Get you here at uh, Port Logan. What a lovely place this is. Cracking, I'm going to have a little bit of an explore. It's a bit of a dull day, but there's someone fishing out there on the. Uh, that too, it's like a medieval uh, pier, uh, bell tower on the end of the uh, harbour wall there. Uh, we're going to have a look, guys, and uh, I'll show you this beautiful camp kit. Another stunning camp. On Galloway, uh, as I say, we are South uh, Rhine, Rhines, on the South Rhines. Far south as you can go in Scotland, apparently. Uh, a bit further down the coast, but uh, not far from here. So uh, we're going to have a look at this lovely village. Right, let's go and have a look, guys. Let's turn the diesel heat head off. Anyway. Uh, boom, and off she goes. There's my lovely boudoir. And uh, my lovely family as well. And my lovely, beautiful Christine. Right. Let's go and do this, guys. You ready, Sky? You ready for the walk? Hey, walkies. Walkies, go and walkies with Daddy. Yeah, she loves her walks. Right, let's crack on. Port Logan. Lovely little, tiny little port with a massive bay. Port Logan Bay. Looking out there to the Irish Sea, across to Ireland over there, guys. The bay goes all the way around there. It's a big bay, Port Logan Bay. And there is a, like a, a fish farm over there, apparently. A kind of museum where you can see all sorts of crustaceans and fish. It's closed this time of year. But uh, anyway, we're going to have a look at this village, shall we? Have a walk along the harbour wall up there. You can see Christine just there in the uh, lay-by. Park up, nice park up, bins, water. There's a cafe when it's open, but uh, it's closed at the moment. Right, let's go and have a mooch. Cool licks and the half drinks, hot drinks. It's a lovely uh, frontage there in Port Logan. There's Christine can hear the surf rolling, guys. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Cheers. Lovely rolling surf. The tide's coming in now. It's nearly in at the moment. But, uh, this is all full of sand when the tide's out. Absolutely lovely. Beautiful. Pilots here as well, guys, up by the uh, fish ponds. I put the lux over there. Leave only footprints, as we keep saying. Here you go, guys, Port Logan, jewel of the North Irish Sea.
cottages, eh? Over there to the sea breaker wall, sea defence wall. And pretty Close cottages, eh? This guy's loving it. More tiny cottages, aren't they cute? Oh, what a pretty place, you spot Logan is. How pretty is that? Gorgeous, eh? Absolutely beautiful. What's that say? Boat McBoat Face. Boat McBoat Face. Lovely tropical plants. Some really cottages there. Little playground here for the kiddies. Just by the harbour. Oh, the smell of the fish in the air is uh, wafting through the evening breeze. The smell of the salt and the uh, fish. Someone fishing on the pier there, I can have a chat to him, see what's going on. Uh, this is an old uh, Weybridge here, guys, the old Weybridge at uh, Port Logan. Uh, that's a Weybridge there. Uh, for horse and carts, apparently. Amazing, eh? The old Weybridge at Port Logan, uh, commissioned in 17, 1879 to weigh the cattle from Scotland and Ireland uh, being imported over here to Scotland. All done on that way bridge there, the horse and carts weighing the cattle and all the other uh, produce that came in across the seas. Bunkers, eh? At the top end of the village, guys, that's the uh, Port Logan Town Hall kind of thing. Uh, here's the harbour. Uh, what's this geezer doing here? What is going on here? Well, you're too fella. You're in a spot of trouble there. Eh? He's got a lobster st stuck to his backside. What the hell is that all about? Oh my life. Random, eh? What a random thing to be in a field. Has he been stuck there by the locals for poaching? He's got a lobster biting his bum there. <laughs> oh, absolutely bonkers, eh? Bonkers. What you see? Well, what an absolutely beautiful place. Absolutely stunning. Uh, Christine's just over there, guys. You can see her in the bay. Oh my, oh my. Absolutely beautiful. And what a lovely evening again. This weather is crazy. Really is crazy. Not cold at all tonight. Not cold at all. I don't know why I'm wrapped up like a bloody pickled onion again. A bit of a chill, but uh, it's not that biting bloody hit in your face kind of cold. Oh, beautiful, lovely little beach there. Wow, looking across Port Logan. Stunning eye. Looking at there. Out there to the Irish Sea, an island across the sea, uh, across the Irish Sea. defence. Uh, I think this is some sort of, I'll have to look it up because it looks like a, not so much a lighthouse, but uh, I think it's a bell tower. They may have had a flame up there, some fire, I don't know, like a lighthouse inside. This is quite interesting, I've never seen nothing like this before. There we go, goes up to the, uh, either way the bell was. Or they burnt the fire. I don't know. It looks pretty old. Port Collis window there looking out to the invaders. Down there to the rocks below. Out there towards Ireland. 
to stop stop the Irish rebels coming to Scotland. <laughs> This is interesting, for sure. I'll have to look it up. Never seen nothing like this. An old fortress for war there where they stand on the walls and defend the coast or the harbour. Steps leading down. Back towards here. I'm not quite sure what the structure is at all. This looks like a toilet in here. It looks like a toilet to me. All pretty dark in there, guys. And inside this one, just below the tower. That looks like a, some sort of fire furnace. Did the light a fire to uh, all the ships? All a bit dark, guys. It's got a solid roof there on this lower section. <laughs> oh, really interesting. Not quite sure. I'll look it up, guys, and put it in comments or vice over. Lovely job, Lou. Looking back at the beach. And a back at Port Logan.
Uh, I was talking about these many moons ago on my channel that I couldn't get them anywhere. You can't buy these in Wales or Scotland or most parts of England. You just cannot. I've been searching every third way for them. Oat cakes. Because I've had, the, I had these many years ago and I never knew where I got. I looked online and everything and everything uh, recently to try and find them. And funnily enough, uh, Woody, my friend Woody, he brought me some. He says, Steve, you've got to try these. And I says, well, that's a bit weird because I've been after these for uh, the last two years. And uh, they're oat cakes, guys. Um, they're from North Staffs oat cakes. You can only get them in North Staffs, apparently. And uh, what I remember of these, they were delicious. So we're going to have bacon, some mature cheese, some crispy bacon. One of these in a the frying pan, rolled up, get them nice and warm, lovely jubbly. I, what I remember of these guys, I absolutely loved them. And as I said before, I've been searching for them everywhere. And Woody turned up, and he had some in his hand. How bonkers is that? Oat cakes. Give him a bash out, shall we? Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Later, guys. Cheese. Got some new oat cakes ready. Bacon's getting nice and crispy. I've got some corn frying away there. Get them all nice and caramelised. Nice crispy bacon. Get the pancakes in, the oat cakes. A bit of cheese inside as well. Cheese, corn, and bacon. Right guys, that's my bacon and uh, corn done. Uh, just uh, get this excess fat out of there guys. You don't know fat in there really. You don't eat pancakes per se. Just uh, leave the residue of the bacon in there. Lovely jubbly. And uh, whack one of those beauties in there. Just warm that through. Fill it up with bacon, corn and cheese. Roll it over and uh, get them rocking and rolling. Back at you in a bit guys. Bacon, cheese and corn in. Just roll this over into a pancake, into a pancake roll. And guys, there they go, rolled up into uh, pancake rolls. Lovely job, though. Just give that chance for the cheese to warm and melt and get all nice and gooey. And uh, in my gobble, let's go in. I'll give these a try, guys. Lovely, lovely job. I do a lot of my van sucker. Uh, we've got it kettle on for a nice cup of tea as well. Oh, part me bum here. Next to me, Sky Baby. How are we doing, guys? Right, let's try one of these uh, rolls, shall we? See if I remember that taste that I had many, uh, it was a long time ago. Lovely pancake roll, look at that. I used to eat oat cakes when I was a wild camper up in the up in the mountains. Loved them, over hot stones. I remember putting bacon on them and cheese and all sorts, pineapple. All sorts you put in these guys. They are absolutely delicious. Beautiful, beautiful oat cakes. Look at that. What a delight. Bloody lovely. Oat cakes. Go and get some. Later guys. <laughs> Okay, big guys, I'm in the right turn eight. Good sunset. Oh. Blimey. <laughs> oh. Get off. Just get out of here. 
I'm soaked through. Oh, thank God I've got that time before I come out. Oh, this is epic. This is what getting out in the winter is like, guys. A bit of adventure. Playing the silly buggers. Getting a bit dangerous, but uh, it's got to be done, guys. Let's get up, Sir Daisy. Let's get out of this cotton wool society about kids not being able to do adventures and climbing rocks. Climbing trees, getting out to places like this with the dads. Obviously, keep them safe, guys, because it's very dangerous. Especially in these holding winds. So there's a storm coming in tonight. So I'll catch you later. Get back in the van because I'm soaking bloody wet. Later, guys. Report the log in Scotland. Whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, my. What do I do for a bloody video for you guys? Oh. Oh. Oh, I am soaked through, look, I am wet through my trousers, oh shit, how good the heaters on guys, I'm getting it all dried off hopefully, I'll have to hang everything up in here, my hands, <laughs> this is what I do guys, for you, to get a vlog out for you guys, all these adventures, this is what I have to go through, <laughs> Love it! Port Logan, oh what a place! Oh, good morning, good morning! Oh, where are we, blimey? Oh, it's a rocky light, that's nice. Uh, some bloody hooly winds coming across the Irish Sea from Ireland. Uh, the van was banging around all nice. I think my um, rooftop garden artificial grass it's come loose, uh, I'll need to sort that out today when this wind drops a bit, but it's too windy to go up there at the moment. Here we are inside Christine, it's about, uh, I think it's about five past nine. I've been awake for about uh, two hours. Lovely jubbly. Here's my lovely Christine. Good morning, darling. How are you today? And my lovely family, my family war. Lovely. Uh, I'll just show you this view out my bedroom window, guys. It's another epic, see the van's rocking. It's another epic view, but it's really windy, so when I open this window, it's going to be a bit blowy. Let's have a look out the window, guys. Oh, here at Port Logan. What a beautiful place this is, guys. I'll just open the window, but it's going to be blowy. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. series was filmed. Uh, One Thousand Skies, I think it was called. I love that series as well. Oh, they shut that bloody window. Bloody gorgeous. Sea rolling in. That's Ireland, just across the bay there, guys. Belfast is over there. Oh, shut that bloody window. Wow. That is... Oh. That is bloody... Chilly winds out there. Oh, really? Right, let's get up and uh, see what we can do today. Eh? I may move on today. I've been here a couple of days. And there's uh, several camps here. There's three camps in this bay. And there's some nice fishing here as well, but it's been too blowing, too cold for me to get the rods out. But uh, there's my rods up there. I've got two more beach rods in my locker on the side. Let's get that bloody kettle on, eh? Kettle's on, mother. Get the kettle on. Lovely. Let's get this day rocking and rolling. Love you, Chrissy. Good morning, Sky. Good morning, sweetheart. Let's give you a quick pan round, guys. Oh, there's a village up there. Lovely. Lovely white houses. A thousand acres of sky, I say, was filmed here. The village was closed off when it was filmed. I think there's 22 in the series, three series. It was a lovely series, I remember it quite well. 
There we go, looking at the uh, at the window. Got my cup of tea, rocking and rolling. Lovely jubbly. Look at that for a view, guys. Oh, is that magical or what? Absolutely magical. It's a shame it's blowing a hoolie out here. But at least we've got the sun out today. Lovely. Here's my pit up there. Just got out of there and I'll tidy it up in a bit. Now we've got a nice cup of tea as well. Warm us up. Uh, what's the scores? Where are we? It's now 20 past 10. I've uh, got 12 degrees inside, which is not too bad. You don't really need the heater. Just put extra clothes on. But I'll put the heater on because I have to look after this little girl here. She does like it warm. <laughs> so I'll use my heater for her more than anything. Not for me, but for my little girl. My little girl Sky. You want some breakfast? Yeah, you want your breakfast? Yeah. Beautiful, guys. Stunning, stunning Port Logan in Galloway. South, South Rhines. Hardest thing to give people a second chance. You may need one one day. We all do. that we used in Acres and Acres of Sky Guys, a series. I think they lived here. Two stars. And these are uh, little cottages here. Well, in the series I did anyway. There used to be a post office, made up post office. There's a pub on the end as well. But, uh, all those props have gone there. see them many a time uh, having a chat on the street with all the neighbours and everything in the series. Lovely job, boy. beautiful eye. This is the lower terrace. There is an upper terrace as well. It's uh, absolutely gorgeous. Boat in the window. Lovely cottage eye. Looking back there, the terrace is there. That's where everything was filmed, guys. All the all the goings on in there's a the sky. Amazing. Nice building there. Port Logan Lodge. Right. And the pub was here. Right on the end. Which say uh, it's no longer a pub anymore. Which is a shame because uh, there ain't no pubs or nothing here really. It's so deserted. I think I've seen about three people since I've been here. <laughs> and that was the pub there, guys. In the series, right on the end there. But uh, it's all gone now. And there's Christine sitting in the bay. Beautiful. Blowhole fish pump. 